<laughs> thank you so much for coming and thank you for having me here. It is an absolute honour and to be able to show my work and share it with you in beautiful spaces like this is the whole point of me doing it. So I'm, I'm thrilled to be here, thank you. Um, I'm showing a collection of works which we've called Untitled. Um, it's actually uh, work from two previous series that I've made. So we have, um, as you go into the gallery on the right hand side, uh, three paintings from a series called Pin Ups which um, the title comes from a, a David Bowie album, which was uh, an album of cover versions that David Bowie did. So he found songs that he loved and he gave them a little special twist and, um, and gave them back to people with his stamp on them. And in a way, that's kind of what I've been doing with um, the people that I met who inspired me. And I, they came from all walks of life. Uh, for the most part, they, they weren't necessarily known or celebrities. Um, but I thought they should be. So I got them to sit for me and I wanted them to look proud. And no matter how vulnerable they were feeling or how uncomfortable, I wanted them just to own it and um, to be revered and respected. So they're looking down their nose at the world um, as well they should be. Uh, there, are, there is actually somebody who's relatively well known. Um, the middle portrait is of a club promoter called Stav B, who's of Greek origin, but she lives in London now. And she puts on events and she's um, a performance artist and a notoriously feisty character. Um, but I also painted people who were um, just people that I met. Um, the woman on the left is called Jean Kemp. It's actually the mother of a very close friend of mine, my friend Jonathan, who's a a writer, Jonathan Kemp, and he's a gay man, and he's just family to me. And that's a portrait of his mum, who um, had open heart surgery, so you can see the scars down her chest. She had a very hard life and lost a daughter um, in 1992, but she's uh, one of life's survivors. And her love and support for her gay son, and her, um, she would come out to clubs with him, and she'd still be there on the dance floor when everybody else was flagging and wanted to go home. And she actually passed away at the end of 2014. So I kind of wanted to um, bring Jean along as well. Um, so that she's uh, no longer with us, but she'll be a pin-up forevermore. Uh, I've also got some works from another series. So as you go into the gallery on the left-hand side, um, I've got four paintings which were shown together as a, a complete series called Urban Myths. And um, for the first time, I started working with found imagery. So up until that point, I tended to paint actual people who I met, and they would come to my studio and sit for me. Uh, that was slightly different. I was commissioned to make a series of work that had an LGBTQI theme, but which dealt with the overall subject of mythology. So because I work at the Wallace Collection um, part-time as a freelance art educator, the Wallace Collection is a museum in London, and there's a painting um, on the wall of uh, Jupiter in the guise of Diana and Callisto. And I was very familiar with that painting because I would walk past it you know, every time that I was there. And I decided to do my own version of uh, Jupiter in the guise of Diana and Callisto and other images by Francois Boucher um, using his original paintings and repainting them so that the background was from that painting, but taking out the slightly idealised and sanitised figures that he'd got, who were nonetheless engaged in some approximation of a lesbian relationship, but in a titillating way that was designed to be um, a, a sort of a, something that men would be drawn to. Um, I've used images that I found in 1960s and 70s pornography, and. Um, taken the characters from those pages and placed them in the middle of the Boucher backdrop. Um, and I, so I kind of reclaimed those women and um, I'm inviting you to uh, revere them as goddesses just as we're invited to look at the pinups as alternative uh, ic iconic figures. There's one other painting in the series um, which we've called Untitled which is uh, just a one-off. I, I might do more but it, um, it's called The Birth of Venus, Natural Breasts, Open Late. 
Uh, natural breasts at Open Lake is the text that accompanied that figure because uh, the source material was a, a card in a phone box in London. And uh, you don't see them very often, but sometimes sex workers or people offering services like massage and whatever else um, advertise their wares on these little cards in phone boxes, which is uh, quite an old-fashioned way of doing it. They get taken out by the police quite a lot, but occasionally you find them. And I'm hunting them down because they just get discarded and thrown away. And I um, want to celebrate them by recreating them in, uh, lovingly in oil paint. Um, so they're kind of discarded images of women. And actually the women that would have been the models for Boucher's paintings originally probably were the sex workers of their day. So I think I'm still kind of working within that traditional theme. Um, but I'm just being a little bit more honest about it. Uh, do you want to say something about the title? Or? Um, we've called it Untitled, which is a bit cheeky, because obviously Untitled usually means you can't think of a title, but um, by saying that it's actually called Untitled, um, it's a deliberate uh, term. Um, again, because music's such a massive influence on me, um, that I've got an album by uh, Mark and the Members, which is Mark Armour from Soft Cell. Um, it was his venture that he did after Soft Cell, um, and that album's called Untitled, and I always thought that would be a great... Uh, name for a, a show of work. Um, in a way though, when I was booking my uh, accommodation and stuff, although that was very generously taken care of you, but by you, I, um, I got travel insurance to come here uh, through Insure and Go. And when I looked on Insure and Go's uh, website and I dropped down through uh, the titles that I was offered, um, there was Mr. and Mrs. and Ms. and Miss and MX mix, which I've decided I'm always going to use um, because it's now an option for us that we don't have to make any declaration about how we identify. Uh, we can use that as, a, as a, a covering term. So actually, we are therefore untitled. And I think, um, you know, LGBTQI plus or A is, is quite a, a mouthful and um, we're trying to struggle, struggle to come up with new acronyms that feel representative of everybody. So tonight I'm just launching um, my manifesto that we adopt the term untitled as a collective term that we all use so we don't have to tell anybody anything. It's none of their business. I, I don't want to hog the floor and I know that you're ready to have a drink, etc. But I just wanted to say um, today obviously comes after yesterday and... Um, there's been an, another horrific attack and I think it wouldn't be right to have this opening as part of uh, Ljubljana Pride without mentioning another Pride that was happening elsewhere in the world and um, that's hateful homophobic crime is an attempt to silence us and we are everywhere and I think we just have to respond by making more noise we will not be silenced, we're everywhere, so I think tonight we should sing out and just make some fucking noise. Thank you so much for coming.